Hello Valiants, it's Nandi. Welcome back to Vibrant Authentic Living. Today we're going to be talking about the sugar cane. So here we have the sugar cane. It's much, it grows much, much taller than this. So the typical um, stem would be about, let me see, about 10 times this length about 10 times this length it grows very very high right so this sugar cane is actually a grass and this is the stem of the plant so usually growing up um you would just get by the cane as is or get the cane as is and you would use your teeth right? you use your teeth and peel it you'd use your teeth and strip it down and get to the sweet juicy inside nowadays you know you pretend that um, you can't do that kind of stuff anymore so you just have somebody else peel it for you so nowadays I buy the sugar cane in bags like this so this is about a hundred Jamaican dollars um, for this batch but growing up, we just ripped the ripped the peel from the cane, right? And it would strengthen your teeth. So once you have this regularly, this will strengthen your your jawbone, strengthen your teeth. And it when you when you eat the sugar cane. It naturally cleans your tongue. Right? So it's a natural brush. It, it brushes your tongue. When you finish eating this, your tongue just feels clean. So the sugar cane is what the world gets its table sugar from. Most of the table sugar. Now you do have some other plants that we get table sugar from, like the beet, the sugar beet, and, and so on. But the sugar cane, from my research, the sugar cane is the crop that produces the most yield around the world in terms of demand. So you know, sugar is a very common commodity. Um, 1.8 billion tons per year the most production um, the highest production from any plant right around the world sugar is in demand now sucrose which is what we get from the sugar cane it has its downside as we are all familiar by now um, sucrose has been linked or overconsumption overconsumption of sugar has been linked to conditions degenerative conditions such as diabetes obesity and cardiovascular disease among other things so I generally don't use table sugar at all however if you decide that you're going to use sugar be very discreet in how you use it and be you know use moderation because overconsumption can cause severe problem problems having said that you know we are a species we have a sweet tooth we naturally love sweet things and we are drawn to the fruit because it has natural fructose and in some cases 
sucrose and glucose all simple sugars we are drawn to that naturally so we don't have to fight the sweet tooth there is enough fructose in the fruits to quench that to satiate that um, addiction of ours and you can get your sucrose from the sugarcane in its natural state as opposed to the highly processed um, table sugar that you get particularly the granulated sugar very very processed from the sugarcane plant as I said this is the stem and from this we get several byproducts the most popular byproduct I would think would be the rum <laughs> very popular particularly here in the Caribbean and we have different varieties too based on the manufacturing process each you know each company has their little spin on it but basically from the fermentation of the sugarcane juice now this is freshly extracted sugarcane juice five minutes ago I whipped up this batch pure sugarcane juice so what I did I just took got some sugarcane peeled it and um, cut it up you know small took off the, the tougher part the stem because as you can see on this this star on the stem you have little um, you have little grooves along where you have harder the joints are tougher right at the joints so because I'm, I was, I don't have a, I don't have a um, cane juice press. Some there, there are presses that you can use to actually squeeze, or your machines that you can just feed the, the whole cane, or if you choose to peel it, but you don't have to peel it, just wash the cane. And there are machines that you can feed the cane through, and it squeezes it, it, it um, presses it and the, the trash comes out and the juice comes out I don't have one such so I just put the small pieces of sugar cane in my Nutribullet just a little tip of water just to get things going a bit a little bit of water and bullet bulletize it <laughs> just bulletize it and then you know you strain that and you get the pure cane juice very sweet because it's sucrose right it's sugar this is where sugar comes from and this would have lots of nutrients in it that the processed sugar does not have now the cane the sugar cane plant is a very versatile plant and we get many byproducts as I mentioned rum we also get molasses and there are different stages in the in the manufacture so we get different grades of molasses the sugar crystals after the cane juice is boiled the sugar crystals are scooped off and the molasses remains and they can put that through two two other um, steps of boiling and removal again to get different grades of molasses so we have the rum and the molasses, we also have bagasse, which is made from the trash, the cane trash, compressed to form a kind of wood, a kind of material used in construction called bagasse, um, relatively cheap compared to other kinds of um, building material. So, you know, the, 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 the plant itself is quite versatile all right so as children growing up we would be chomping down chomping down on the sugar cane and naturally your tongue your teeth and your tongue 
naturally remove the juice that sweet sugarcane juice from the sugarcane and as you eat you chew and so on it cleans the tongue your tongue feels so clean after you're done all right so in addition to being a toothbrush <laughs> a natural toothbrush and natural sweetener the sugarcane juice as i said is loaded with nutrients so it has water obviously because you know very succulent even though it looks tough it, it is tough and looks tough but just with some chewing and natural pressing you will extract that water that sweet water full of sucrose full of energy and also very hydrating for you the sugarcane juice also has lots of vitamin a um, the b complex vitamins vitamin c and minerals such as phosphorus calcium potassium um, iron zinc it's full of antioxidants such as flavonoids and polyphenols and you know antioxidants help to neutralize the effect of free radicals in the body they prevent the free radicals from causing damage to the cells in the body so the sugar cane juice is full of antioxidants and the cane juice has been used to help um, either prevent jaundice or to lessen the effects that jaundice can have on the system so it will strengthen the liver and help to maintain um, normal levels of, of bilirubin which you know over production of um, causes jaundice in, in the system particularly in young children babies I mean, some babies are born or soon after they are born with jaundice sugarcane juice is a natural diuretic meaning that it will naturally stimulate the kidneys to flush out the excess water and from the body and so prevent edema so edema is the accumulation of extra water within the tissues uh, intercellular spaces of the body particularly in the lower extremities and diuretics will stimulate the kidneys to you know be more efficient in flushing the body of excess water so the sugarcane hydrates as well as it will normalize regulate the amount of water that the body maintains that it holds on to just the amount that it needs so it has been found to have diuretic properties and once you have the kidneys working efficiently and flushing the system and getting rid of any extra whether waste or water that we have you know this will help to prevent urinary tract infections and so on and sugarcane juice is a tone is a tonic for the digestive system the calcium and iron and, and potassium and all those minerals will help towards maintaining strong teeth and bones so it's not just on the outside of chomping into the, the cane and strengthening your teeth with every bite but on the inside the minerals that it contains will help to strengthen your bones and teeth so this is a wonderful food to have you know if you have access to the sugar cane as is you know the way we do in the Caribbean we just get a piece of cane and we rip it to shreds with our natural juicer we have a natural juicer that we extract our sugar cane juice if not you know you can buy the sugar cane at the supermarket or at the market from the vendor 
and all the, that will be already peeled and packaged just for you right so if you want to play like your stush then you can buy it already peeled and packaged or you can have the sugarcane juice you can get it in the supermarket this is freshly made if you can't make your own batch then certainly you can access it in your supermarket just ask for it and they will get it for you and it is certainly the better thing to have than the the um, highly processed sugar table sugar we want to avoid the use of processed foods wherever possible where we can get the natural food it's always best to use that and to use natural sweeteners if you use lots of fruits in your juices you don't even need any sucrose or you know any any kind of sweetener because they not the fruits naturally have fructose i don't use sugar at all in my juices or my tea the only kind of sweetener i will use is honey and that's sparingly and only in a handful of juices all right so this is the sugar cane and this is nandy and i'm signing out but before i go let me remind you that you can become a supporter of the channel just follow the link in the description below go on over to patreon and become a supporter if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please do so now share the video so others may benefit from the information and so that they may make healthier choices so until the next video this is nandy and i'll see you then